Okay, so you don't know how to finger, which is, you know, that's absolutely fine. A lot of people don't know how to finger before watching a tutorial. So let this be the tutorial that teaches you how to finger. Let's begin. If you take anything away from this video, I just want you to remember that it's always best to model from reference. So take a photo of the top of your hand and one of the bottom of your hand, and then just use a cylinder to basically trace out your finger. You don't need any skill modeling here. You just, <laughs> you just do it. Cool, so we now have our finger, but nobody's gonna be impressed by this fingering until we texture it, which means that we need to unwrap it first. To do this, I'm gonna use our original UV map along with two projection UV maps, one for the top and one for the bottom, where we wanna give our original UV map just a normal standard unwrap, and for the top and bottom, you're just gonna do project from view since we wanna project these images. You know, that <laughs> that's the main idea here. Would you believe me if I told you that for texture painting, you need a texture, so make one. And here is where the UV maps we made before come in handy because we can use a very convenient feature called copy from paint slot to basically transfer texture from one UV map onto another. Looks pretty good, but we can make it look even better. So clone from paint slot and paint over the other side of the finger. Disable this and fix all the patches from before. Should we add some blood? Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Give yourself some paper cuts. Again, this looks fine, but we can do better. Normal texture coordinates, forget about it. Use these distorted texture coordinates to make better blood. Now we can paint, you know, <laughs> with distorted blood. I'm thinking that this finger should be shiny. Not everywhere though, so maybe just isolate it to the fingernail. Play around with this mask until you get what you want, and now that I think about it, blood should also be shiny too, so maybe just incorporate that as well. Okay, final trick for textures, just add in a normal map using your base color. Is it accurate? No. <laughs> Do I care? Also no. Listen, I'm telling you, this is the easiest rig you're ever gonna make. It's just bones aligned at the joints, and then you just parent by automatic weights, and yeah, that's pretty hot. Okay, finally, we need to make this thing super gross, and you can do that by adding in a vertex group, painting in the area that you want deformed, add in a displace modifier using this vertex group, and using a new texture set to, you know, some cloud stuff, just make it some noisy, I don't know, make it look like flesh. If you think this video can have a sponsor, then you're delusional. There's just no way. I, I think I went a bit too far. Uh, but because of this, I'm just gonna sponsor myself this time. So if you enjoyed the tutorials and stuff I make, and especially like this whole finger thing, uh, first of all, check out the Patreon because there's more stuff like it. And I'm gonna be uploading a long version of the uh, tutorial over there where I kind of go over everything slowly and not in the you know fast format. And also because it's a flesh thing, I I've talked about it before, but I have a great video course about the hole in hand, which uses very different principles, but it's also gory and all this. Uh, thank you, CG Matter, for sponsoring me. You're welcome, CG Matter. I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs>